Good morning, Fellowship High Crest fam, and this is your jump start for Monday, January 11th. And hey, we're going to get into it. Our focal passage for today is found in 1 John chapter 4, verses 7 through 11. And here's what it says. It says, Dear friends, let us continue to love one another, for love comes from God. Anyone who loves is a child of God and knows God. But anyone who does not love does not know God, for God is love. God showed how much he loved us by sending his one and only son into the world so that we might have eternal life through him. This is real love. Not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son as a sacrifice to take away our sins. Dear friends, since God loved us that much, we surely ought to love each other. Um, recently, there was a, uh, a survey that came out of asking why Christians left the church so rapidly in 2020. And one of the top three reasons was Christian meanness on social media. So here's the deal. We can say all we want about the love of God and how much Christians love God and love others and how, but it comes down to, so to speak, uh, uh, a Southern saying of your slip is showing. Our social media is telling on us. If you want the world to know the love of Christ, it's time we take a serious look at our social media accounts. Because the things that we're posting online um, and using the excuse of I'm trying to share truth is really showing a lack of love. And in 2021, if we want to take a reversal on the trend we're seeing of people walking away from the body of Christ, it's time we take a serious look at our activity on social media. And I know that this may drive this, this thought of, hey, I'll just walk away from social media. And we need to examine that also because they, the, the solution is not always walking away. Sometimes it involves showing a better way. And we can be present and reflect Christ in this platform. So take a look at, at your social media activity. Take a look at the way you post, at the way you respond, the things you post, those voices that you're listening to, and truly examine if it's built on the foundation of Christ. Continue to power up, pour in, and spill out. Have a great day.